Mr. Homestead, hi. My name is Gabe Elsner. I'm with the Checks and Balances Project. Uh, I'm just wondering why you didn't present yourself as a lobbyist for uh, Bracewell Giuliani and the coal industry uh, in your description here for this panel. Uh, because that's only a small part of what I do. I, so I, however they wrote me up, that's what I do. And I, you know, th this is the thing that I find it very interesting. Look at, I, what I do is I, I work for people who I think really have the right vision for America. And I right. so I spent all my time trying to make sure that people like you so and others. So you didn't, you didn't write your bio for this uh, panel here? I, have, I don't even know who wrote my bio okay. for this panel here. What is your concern about it? I'm interested because the bio says that you're working on the mercury rules at the EPA, and when in fact you actually work to dismantle and delay uh, that, the mercury no, no, rules that's, at the EPA. Thanks so much. Okay. No, but I'd like, to, I'd like to answer this question. I was in charge of writing the first mercury rule for coal-fired power plants that was ever written, and right. if that rule had passed, mercury emissions would be much lower today, and they would be much lower in the future. So well, if you have a problem you, with what you, I did you on mercury... the utility math, right? No. I, I did a rule that was much more effective, that was much more efficient, that would have gotten eight years' worth of mercury reductions already, right? Right. So you look at the things that I did. If those things had passed, our air would be cleaner, our rates would be lower, and I don't think anybody disputes that. So you, you, I, I, I encourage you actually to, to do your homework a little bit more before I, I, you're going to talk to me. I did, I did do my homework. Evidently not enough. So, so look, no, so what, what, just, where would what mercury I'm, emissions, most where would mercury emissions be today you're, you're if my rule would pass? You're a lobbyist for the coal industry, right? No, I work for, I work for a whole bunch of companies. R okay. Including well, that's, so, that's, some not, that's not what your public bio on, online says. But, that most of the companies you work for are coal utility companies and coal companies. I work for and a so, whole, I work for anybody who's trying to provide affordable, reliable and energy to, right. to people in the country and, and who's trying to do sensible my concern, energy and environmental I'm, policy. I'm a watchdog group, so my concern is that Bracewell Giuliani has received so millions from the really coal industry and that isn't mentioned in your bio for this well, panel you know, from Politico. Thank you. I'm happy to I'm I'm happy to have you point that out. Okay.